Hello. Um. Hello. Um. Hello. Um. Hello, Moto. Okay. Anyway, uh, like I was showing, I told you the title of this is the laws that I assisted with. Okay. Uh, it was one about, you know, about all these guys in jail for drugs and all that type stuff. People was going to jail for marijuana a lot and all this other stuff. And, you know, the government had been looking into all this stuff. And I was explaining to them the reason why they got so much time. And I was upset because of how they was getting all this time because some of those guys didn't deserve all that time. But now you look deep into their cases because they was beating up people over drugs and guns and that type of stuff and claiming they block, you know, what stirs and all that when their property belonged to the government, okay, or to other people, to the city and state and all this stuff. So that's why they, you know, getting so much to belong to the government. OK, or to other people, to the city and state and all this stuff. So that's why they, you know, getting so much time law to the government. OK, or to other people, to the city and state and all this stuff. So that's why they, you know, getting so much time. about guns and all that stuff. I told them to look into those cases and gonna let those guys out of jail. They did not have large quantities and the majority of the drugs that got tested, these people went to jail for lookalike substances and creating havoc, okay? That's why those Washington washing powder companies had sued because when they started testing, they was finding they was using Tide and all these other uh, detergents to make something that they call crack. That's really not a uh, crack or anything. Let me tell you what it is. Crack and meth is the same thing, the same formula. Okay. It was never cocaine. And they showed on TV back in the eighties when stuff was getting real bad, how they made it. I'm like, and I was telling people that's how I knew that too. I'm like, all thing they do is taking household chemicals, mixing it together, using baking soda and stuff to hold it to make it a solid, and they called it crack cocaine. That was not even cocaine. That's how a lot of those people on farmers got caught up in Mexico and all that because they was like, all oh, this why is why is people dirty and all this and they going to these stores and was buying all this washing powder and stuff. Okay. So that was the whole epidemic. 
So that's when I was like, I'll let them out there and, you know, ask how they got caught up and they'll go back to the detectives and everybody and did they, you know, use guns, they shoot people, beating up people and all this other stuff. Because a lot of people lost their homes and kids and ruined their lives over every house, over household chemicals and stuff they already had in their home. Something they could have made themselves if they just wanted to use it. You know? A regular sized box of washing powder would have made a drug dealer $3,000. That's what made the detergent companies get involved. Okay? Now let's get to the marijuana. When the marijuana people were going around, they was... Somebody reported my page. Somebody reported my page. Ain't that something? So anyway, let me see what this is. Uh, why is my page like that? I don't know, regulated goods. Yeah. I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So, anyway, I went on to uh, about the cannabis, and we was able to get these guys out of jail and. I was able to prove what marijuana does and all this other stuff, and we went to the process of legalizing marijuana. Okay? Somebody reported on a page, so I'm up here talking about distribution. I'm talking about the laws and what happened. And they get these people out of jail and all this stuff. Some people deserve a chance. And they start questioning and interviewing them about their lifestyles and what happened and, you know, how they was raised and what was going on. That's why a lot of guys got out, you know, and there's other guys that's getting out and there's other people that's going in for other stuff, you know? Um, and that's basically what it turned out to be. You know, we had a lot of crimes and stuff I was looking into. We have a lot of people that's from other countries and dealing with, I'll talk about this stuff with immigration. These people... Uh, people be calling Arabs and all this other stuff, but regardless of what their nationality is, these people are going back to their countries. These people tried to take all the stuff that belongs to me. They didn't have a dime or a cent to even buy anything that I had, and the only thing I did was hire them so they could have employment, so they could get a place to live, and they went to these counties and did all this other stuff. But see, what they did was when they they ended up having to use their names, right? So it was even more confirmed that who they were, who they were, you know? I own Window Suites, hotels, and all this stuff. I own all this stuff. Those people, they call themselves owners. You look up the county records in these different states and all this. They don't own them. You know, days in, in case of y'all, I don't know, the stuff in Missouri. And I own hotels and motels in every state in the United States, in every county. In every county, I have something in the United States. You know how many counties are in a state? I have stuff everywhere. And I, me and my kids went through stuff because of these people. I have no love for them. I don't care what what goes on with them. I gave them jobs and stuff so they could take care of their kids and quit pimping their kids because them people was doing this. They was pimping their kids. The kids was looking dirty. They looking good. All this stuff. That's what happened to them other people in those countries over there. They going back home. This, time, this does not make any sense whatsoever. You know? It doesn't.
but I'm fed up. It's not like nobody used me or these people got up. It was a point of getting all these people. To, it was a point of getting them all together. And what happened was a group of other people was in trouble for killing kids and all this stuff. My couple of my kids got killed by this other group of people. And the other people, there's some other, all these people just hooked up together. They weren't even together on everything. And all of a sudden, all of them just got together, like Nipsey Mama and them and all of them. See, Nipsey Mama and them been knowing who I was even before we ended up in Illinois. I'm not from, you know, I'm not from, I wasn't born in Missouri. I wasn't born, I'm from down south. Nipsey and them is from out the country. His mom, his mom was in on everything the whole time. She was plotting on my sons, her grandson. You know, and I kept telling them, that woman ain't no good. They had more kids in their family, started naming their kids the same name. It's my kids. They was plotting on my babies. You know? Name, it's, it's just so much stuff. And I went through hardships because all these people put their names on my property. Or if not, I was about to move into a property. And they just moved in. Put their names on stuff. All this stuff. stuff. And I'm wondering how in the world did they know about this house, that house, all this other stuff. Because I don't want to talk to nobody. About how I was taking care of my baby. I'm going to ask somebody a question or say something. And that's how I know who it was. So it's not nobody told on. They told on themselves the men they put their John Hancock on stuff. Whether they use their real name or fictitious name. Them other agents got, got their information. Real names and fake names. Real IDs, fake IDs. You know? I created social media. And my main purpose when the government asked me why I created it, we're going back. I say to prevent stuff. Just why I created it, we're going back. I say to prevent stuff. Just why I created it, we're going back. I say to prevent stuff. To stop people trying to use other people's identities and do all that other stuff. So, the same everywhere you go. It's not the same. You know? And it's not. That's why people up and move and go places, go do this, that, and the other. But see, everybody who tried to turn me down and do all this stuff to me. I don't think they showed the light was their true character. So when they go before the judge, they gonna get the book thrown at them. Yeah, it was never over. They talking about, oh, I ain't go to jail yet. I put my name on her. Oh, we can, you ain't get away with nothing. They got pictures of and videos with your houses and all this other stuff and this, that, and the other, and I'm hanging around people I don't know because they're acting like they knew me. I didn't know these people. Or if I knew them, I didn't hang with them. My whole life was somewhere else. I was a judge. I was chief judge. I'm winning elections. I'm doing all this other stuff. A PhD, I have a doctorate. I have curriculum in Ivy League schools. I'm very educated and motivated. I'm an idea maker. I think for the future, not just for today. I think about the future and the past and see how to make sure we don't have to repeat these steps again. You know? And that's what be going on. My reason for creating TikTok because you know I'm in a, I'm in the entertainment industry. I own Universal, Warner, Disney, Atlanta Records, Motown, all this stuff. Everybody always came to me because I was the it person. 
They have my lawyers in place to help people with documentations and the whole nine yards. But I told people, I said, y'all don't need me. I said, create your own. You don't need me. Because I was getting fed up. Because it came to the point where some people was coming. They was just being nosy. Oh, we got this. We got this. Oh, I know. Go ahead and make your own companies. Hope you got the money to start it. That's all it is. I never stop uh, hate on nobody because they try and do their own. I congratulate you. Then next thing you know, they still have to come because they that stuff costs. You know, these entertainers they have fees they have to pay. You know, but they still make it. And that they get through looking at everything they build, and they be like, oh, that was worth it. Because that lawyer helped me out with some of my personal stuff. You know? Team us. That's what I call me and my crew. Team us. The people who love to do the right thing. Who, who enjoy their jobs. Who, you know, appreciate But I done did a lot for society. You know? Yeah, but I created TikTok so people could show their talents and all that stuff. And, you know, people be doing stuff on Facebook and MySpace. And, yeah, MySpace still up and running. Snapchat, Twitter. I created all that stuff. Placey, I created social media. Wikipedia, all this stuff is me. I don't make a dime off a lot of stuff. Like Wikipedia, I don't make no money off of that. That turn out to be where we can catch people up who acting like they created stuff or, you know, they do this to the entertainment. We call a lot of people. Because they boldly put their faces and their life lies on there as if it was true. You know? My life and everything was never to be a secret. Why would it be? I wasn't hiding behind a name and all this other stuff. Some of those other agents messed up. When they start finding out who I am and all these people got jealous of me. And then they was already mad. Shit, I'm a woman. I'm black. Successful. Smart. And that's what happened. So, here we go. They got to look into this. It was just a whole bunch of cases that was coming at one time. Have a lot of FBI agents and U.S. Marshals that were those positions that are incarcerated. You know? Okay. That's it for now. Talk to you guys later.